Good evening, everybody. So here is about $46 worth of groceries. And what we have in these two bags here, we got some fruit by the foot. We got some tortilla chips, some milk, barbecue sauce. We got some Gushers, uh, ice cream sandwiches, Klondike's. What else do we have? Uh, cookies. Okay. And uh, we got some salsa in here and some milk. Right, and we got a case of diet soda right here. So what I'm trying to point out here is, um, if you if you're not paying attention to what's going on, most people are starting to wake up to the reality of the fact that the wages that they're being paid are not are not meeting their basic needs. Now this right here, yes, I, I spent about forty six bucks in groceries right here. This right here, it, it, for for some Americans, might be enough to push them over the edge. There are a lot of Americans right now that are uh, buying groceries on credit. They're meaning they're running up their credit card bills to pay for groceries, right? Now, what if you were to be able to just sell uh, the equivalent? We're, we're talking forty six bucks of groceries. Uh, what if you were able to sell the equivalent in in body oils and forty six dollars of groceries and forty six bucks? This is about the equivalent. If you were to sell two one ounce roll-ons at let's say 15 to 25 dollars a piece boom that's it that's it that's groceries and as a matter of fact i know some guys who are in this business who uh depending on their area are able to stand outside the grocery store and and just because of the amount of foot traffic of people coming in and out they're able to sell these uh these fragrances right uh your market maybe your market you know, you might not have anybody that really wants the one ounce roll ons. It depends on where you're at. If you're in a low income area, you know, the one third roll ons move really, really well. Right. People buy those without even thinking about it because most people have five dollars in their pocket. Right. Or ten dollars. Who knows? Right. So um, what I'm trying to point out here is that the wages, if you're working a regular job, if you're a regular working class American, uh, the wages are not keeping up with inflation, okay? And the amount of groceries that people are going out and buying are becoming less and less and less. And they're only buying the basic essentials that they need, right? And so what I'm pointing out is, is wages are stuck in like the 1990s. The name of the game right now is all commodities. If you can buy, sell, trade, and move merchandise, that's a major win, guys. So check me out. We all, we offer small business starter kits on extravagantfragrances.com. You can't lose. I will take you through. I will show you how to do, how to do the business, how to make your first sale, where to sell, um, and, and, and get you on your way. But check it out. Go to the wholesale section of the website on extravagantfragrances.com. And let me help you out, guys, and uh, help you get on your journey to starting a fragrance business today. Take care, everybody.